This is a simple video and audio tutorial on making a, a type of border that I call the Gaussian blur border. And I use it very often. Okay, first you need to have Photoshop or something similar, although the directions would vary depending on the program. Okay, first you need to make a new layer and Photoshop that's control shift new or go th by layer and selecting new okay this is where the burrow will be just choose the magic wand and you'd select all or you can just simply go select all which is control A and now you want to select modify border Let's make it, I don't know, four pixels. Hmm. It's not very thick, but that should be good enough. Now, the color you choose is depending on personal preference and the image that you're using. So let's go with um, black. Okay, and now you want to use the fill tool fill it in just fill it in now you want to deselect select control D and now use the magic wand tool again and now you select the inner area and now select modify contract that's contracted by about five or six pixels six pixels then and now again you want to do select modify border and do another four so pixel width and now you want to choose a different color let's go with um, orange then it's not my preference but let's go with orange for visibility reasons and fill that in now There, it's all filled in now. S select, deselect. Now, you see you have two borders, an outer and an inner one. That's what you want to see. Now, filter, blur, Gaussian blur. You want to make sure you can see how it will be affected. So you want to move this thing to the side. Zoom in and move to the side so you can properly see. There. That's how it looks now. That's how it will change. You want to make it smooth. There. That works. Now it's smoothly transitioning from black to orange. That's what you want to see. You may want to do it again if you feel that isn't enough. There, that looks right. Now you can modify this by adding extra layers and doing blending properties. Like for, like this, I'm changing the blending and you can have different effects. Some of them are actually quite good. There is one that gives it a sort of a watery look, almost sort of a faded outlook type border you just choose based on what you want and you can add extra border layers and use different opacities and um, use that to achieve the effect you like see this is a sort of almost raised effect I like that I'm partial to this one particular when I'm doing um, uh, uh, borders for signature images well that's about it have fun okay